On Tuesday, Wolf News talked to Houston County Probate Judge Patrick Davenport about changes in voter precincts in the upcoming June 5th primary election. Today, Judge Davenport will talk about the new way voters will cast ballots at the polls on next Tuesday. Historically, you would go in the precinct and you would approach the registration line that reflected your alphabetical last name. So, for instance, for Davenport, I would go A through D, if that's what the line was, or at a big precinct, maybe D, E, and F, and I would go to that line to register to vote, and that would be the only voting registration line that I could register in. And the reason was is that we break down the polling registration book based on volume. At 2 o'clock in the afternoon, there may be hundreds of Ds. D, E's, and F show up, but there's nobody in A, B, and C. That was always a traffic flow problem that we couldn't resolve. This electronic poll books, they're a tool that will allow you to go into the precinct and approach any registration table that is available, and the entire precinct voter list is on that registration poll book. So you approach, they scan your driver's license, you sign your name, you choose your ballot style, and the printer prints off a tape that shows you the ballot style that you should receive. They'll hand you the tape, and you'll walk to the ballot table. The clerk at the ballot table will look at your tape to see which ballot style you are to receive, and they'll provide you with a ballot. So we're really excited about that. It's definitely for convenience, but it's not only for convenience because this is a technology that tracks your affiliation with the primary ballot style that you choose. In 2017, the legislature passed a bill that prohibited crossover voting. So consequently, whatever party you affiliate with in the primary, you must either not vote or affiliate with that same party at the runoff. You can't vote a Republican ballot in the primary and then go to the runoff six weeks later and choose a Democrat ballot. You've got to vote the same ballot once you enter the process. So this technology will help us track that so we we can more accurately comply with state law. One of the interesting things that I see when I talk to people around the county is the misunderstanding about primary elections. In a primary election state, the government is administering party elections. So that's really what we're doing. The probate judge is administering an election for the Democrats and he's administering an election for the Republicans. So in essence, you have to choose to affiliate with one party during this election cycle. Now in November, in the general election, you can vote one Democrat, one Republican. You can choose any way you want to. You just have to choose one party and stick with it in the primary. I'm Deborah Peterson reporting for...